in this video we're going to focus on how we can give our legend a margin or originally there's not really a margin in here but how we can give it space at the upper point and as well on the lower point so let's start to explore with this because this is a slightly more advanced trick than you might suspect in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to add margin in legend in chart.js all right so this question came from one of my viewers here on my other videos which is on this specific video here legend position update chart.js 3 and then in here net citizen designer a special thank you to net citizen designer for asking the question and this is what net citizen designer asked how do i add margin in legend in chart.js 3.5 all right so officially you're not able to add any legend in there and the reason why is because of the structure but there's a way to do it but it requires a certain workaround all right so to do this let's start to create a basic chart immediately just go to chartjs3.com and then here getting started and copy this chunk of code here and if you want to understand what this code does please check out this video here above so what we're going to do is we're going to just paste this in here. Once we paste this, I want to cut out this title here, put it in there, that's for me. And then save that. Once I save this, refresh, we have now our bar chart here. And what we're going to do is now we're going to add up a margin. And basically the margin here will be focused to create space between the upper and the lower part, or basically the legend and the chart area. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to go here. And then in here, what we're going to do is we put in here a new, basically a plugin. And this plugin, we say a comma, and then we say here, plugin, plugins, basically with an S. And then in here, we could say here the legend margin. We're going to add up a legend margin. And it is not really a legend margin. What we're going to do, because we're working here, and the main reason why we're not able to add up here a margin is because this is drawn in a canvas meaning that there's a specific height set up here and what we need to do is we need to recalculate before this has been drawn we need to start calculating the height of this legend this legend and then with that we need to recalculate as well the chart itself so the chart area will be impacted by how big the height of the legend is and that's what we're going to do here so to do this we don't have to recalculate really the chart area all we have to do is we have to make sure that the legend is drawn first. So that's what we're really doing here. So we're going to create this here. We have this plugin now here. And let's give this a simple name here. This could be here the, uh, the plugin block or the legend. Doesn't matter. Anything you want to give it. Then in here, I'll say your constant. And this constant will be consistent. So we're going to grab this here. We say constant equals that, the legend margin. And then in here, curly braces, then we say your ID same quotation because it's a string and then again grab the legend margin then we put a comma here and then we say here because we want to make sure that this starts before anything else so we say before initialization or before init and then in here we say chart we can do here multiple doesn't matter so much i guess and options that's all right so then what we want to do here is the following we're going to put in here basically this but because what we're going to grab here now is the calculation of this this is being calculated how how much the height is based on certain calculations to grab the calculation we need to grab a certain function in chart.js itself so what we will do here i'm going to show you this is where it is hidden so we say your console.log and chart dot legend dot fit all right, so if I save this now and refresh, you can see nothing happens here, but we can find here the entire function. So this is the function that calculates the height here, and that would eventually impact as well how the chart area will calculate and basically how they work together. So we have to change this now. What we want to do is we want to redo this function by borrowing this specific item, and then we combine it with a certain value additional. So what we're going to do here is basically this. So we say here the following constant, and then we're going to just grab this. We say the fit value. This is the original value, which is basically this one here. 
whatever the value is. And then we want to do here, once we have to calculate the height, and then we want to add here plus a certain amount of pixels. So, and that is basically how we're going to do our margin here. And this margin is basically not officially a margin. It's a height here that will impact everything here as well. So top and bottom as well, because it's positioned in the center. So what we're going to do here is the following. We say here, all right, then we're going to grab this here. We're going to grab this function here. And then we say this function, we're going to rename this, or basically we're going to rename this function to fit, all right. Then in here, what we're going to do is the following. Here, we want to call the original function and then eventually we want to bind it. A binding is combining it together with something else. So, for this, what we're going to say here is the fit value dot bind. And then in here, we're going to grab here the value of the chart dot legend that we have here. We have basically this part here. So it grabs the chart dot legend values. And once we have this, what we want to do is the following here. Then we say here, return, and all what we want to do here, return dot height, because we want to grab the height here. And then what we will do here, that is basically plus equal an X amount. Let's say we do another 20 pixels in here. Once you do this, we'll save that. Pay attention to what will happen here. And if we refresh, you can see now we push it a bit more down. And this is the only way to create a certain padding or margin top and bottom here. So we can control this as well. If you do this, save that. There we are. So by default, if I'm not mistaken, it is 10 pixels. So if you do 50 pixels here, what will happen is it will recalculate correctly the chart area and the legend will have this amount of space here above. All right. So you can see it's not 100% as it should be here maybe more in the center but this is basically the only way you can do it because there is currently no option for this there is something else what you could consider and that is in the options itself then you can go here into plugins all right so i'm going to show you another one but this will not be uh, the space here around it will basically impact more everything else and slightly unclear how that works so we say here this plugins legend and we're going to the labels we're going to give the labels a padding and this padding for the labels could be maybe 20 pixels make sure you have a comma here if you save that refresh so we have that here and you can see well let's return this back to 10 just don't do anything here and you can see now if you do this 100 save this will work a little bit on the upper part. The other one will basically be more for the lower part, I guess. And that's it. So this is the way how we can work with it, combining two different items with it. But most people probably, if you want to have a margin, it's usually focused on the margin bottom to have space here. But this padding here has an option as well. However, this padding doesn't do anything at all for the bottom, as you can see here. So these are the two only ways you can do it with the legend. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more, so I would highly recommend you to check out this one. And this is a quite interesting topic. It's called the how to do the scale stacking in ChartJS, where you can stack scales on top of each other and create a combination of a chart that is far more advanced and give you more options. So if you're curious about this, check out this. Just go to this video link, it will pop up here somewhere on the screen right now.